In this video we're going to look at finding the center and radius of circles, first in some easy cases and then some harder ones. But just to remind you of the form really of the circle, we've got x minus a squared plus, plus y minus b squared equals r squared. This is a circle, this is the general form of a circle that goes through a, b uh, as its center and has radius r. Look back at the previous video uh, if you want to know why. So here, a is 3, b is 5, r is 5, so this is a circle that goes has center 3, 5, and has radius square root of 25, which is 5. Remember, just to be careful with negative numbers, so this one would be x minus minus 4, so that goes, that's got center minus 4, 7, and the radius for this one would be the square root of 17. So, and of course, if this number was negative or 0, it's not a circle. Okay, so what about this one? Um, this is a circle, but it's in a slightly more disguised form. But it has got all of the parts that we noticed in the previous video. It's got an x squared and a y squared, an x and a y term, and a constant term. So depending whether you know, the radius comes out to be positive or not in, in the form of the circle, this may or may not be uh, a, a circle. So we're going to try and put it in that form, x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is r squared. Okay? So firstly, let's work out what a would have to be. So I've got x minus a squared, and what we're going to do is complete the square just in those two terms. So I'm going to ignore everything else apart from the things with x in them for now, and just complete the square in this part, x squared minus 4x. Okay, so let's actually cover that up. Um, and remember, completed square form works on the basis that x minus a squared would be x squared minus 2ax plus a squared. So the thing that we'd get in the square here uh, is half of this. This is 2a. This is a. So this would be half of four, half of the minus 4 here. So we'd have x minus 2 squared. And if I multiplied out x minus 2 squared, what I would get is x squared minus 4x plus 4. So if I want these two things to be the same, I'm going to have to subtract this extra 4 that we've got so then we're just left with x squared minus 4x. So this is the same as x squared minus 4x. Okay. We now do the same with y. So I've got y squared minus 2y. So this would give me uh, this would give me y minus 1 squared. And if I multiplied that out, it would get y squared minus 2y plus 1. So I need to subtract that 1 so that this whole expression here is really the same as this one here and then I've still got this minus 11 and it's all equal to 0. Okay, So what I've done there is completed the square separately in x and y and I've got these uh, you know a and b have come out now I see a would be 2 and b would be 1 so if this is a circle it's going to have center 2 1. Uh, oh and there's I missed out a plus here from when I was covering them up. So it's x minus 2 squared minus 4 plus y minus 1 squared minus 1 minus 11 is 0. So if we just collect all of those terms together, minus 4 minus 1 minus 11, that's minus 16. So this is x minus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared minus 16 equals 0. So that's x minus 2 squared plus y minus 1 squared equals 16. So it is in this form now and the radius is the square root of 16, so this is a circle that's got center 2, 1, and radius 4. And notice if I just change the problem slightly so that you know this minus 11 was actually instead uh, plus 11, say, uh, then this wouldn't be a circle anymore. Okay, so uh, if I had plus 11 here and this was plus 11, then when I collect all these terms together I'd get 11 minus 1 is 10, minus 4 is 6, so this would be plus 6 equals 0, and this would then be minus 6, so it wouldn't have been a circle. So when we do this completing the square, we, at the end, we'll have to look and see, well, is the final, if this value is positive, we get a circle, if not, then this wasn't a circle. How about this one? Is this a circle? Well, it doesn't immediately look uh, in the same form but it has got a lot of the same uh, elements here so why don't we try and bring everything over to the left hand side so I've got uh, x squared and 14x then plus y squared 
minus 8y minus 40. Now uh, that's all equal to 0, so this is looking a bit better. Let's complete the square in x, so half of 14 is 7, so that's x plus 7 squared. And uh, if I multiply that, that, I'd get x squared plus 14x plus 49, so I need to subtract the 49 to keep it the same. This one, half of minus 8 is minus 4, so we get plus y minus 4 squared. This time we need to subtract 16. We've still got the minus 40, so that's all equal to 0. So we've got x plus 7 squared plus y minus 4 squared, and 49 minus 40 is minus 89 minus another 16 gives us minus 105 so if we add that to both sides we get uh, equals 105 so this is a in the form of a circle and the center here is at minus 7 plus 4 and the radius uh, would be the square root of 105 because this is a positive number so that's fine I can take that's r squared uh, is 105 so the radius is the square root of 105. x squared plus 5x plus y squared minus 3y minus 12 is 0. Complete the square in x. So a little bit more complicated. We're going to get some fractions here. So we've got half of 5 would be 5 over 2. So it's x plus 5 over 2 squared. And if I multiplied that out, I'd get x squared plus 2 lots of 5 over 2x. That's the 5x we want, plus 5 over 2 squared. So I need to subtract 5 over 2 squared, which is... 25 over 4, squaring the top and bottom. Here, y squared minus 3y, in the same way we get y minus 3 over 2 squared. And if I, and I'd have to subtract the 9 over 4 that I would get there, uh, and that's minus 12 equals 0. So I've got x plus 5 over 2 squared, plus y minus 3 over 2 squared. And now minus 25 over 4 minus 9 over 4, so that's minus 30 4 over 4 uh, minus 12 equals 0. 34 over 4, that's 17 over 2. And 12 would be 24 over 2. So this is um, 24 plus 17 is 41. So that would be minus 41 over 2. So if I add that to both sides here, this is going to be uh, equal to plus 41 over 2. So this is a circle that's got center minus 5 over 2, 3 over 2, and the radius is the square root of 41 over 2. And if you wanted that as a decimal or something, you could work it out, but I'll just leave it like that. And remember, of course, if this number comes out negative, then it's not a circle. But that's our basic technique. Whatever we've got, get everything to the left-hand side, Look at the x squared and the x terms, complete the square. Look at the y squared and the y terms, complete the square. And sort out what we've got. If it's a circle, we'll find its center and radius from the standard form. And if this is negative, it's not a circle.